Are you ready? Yeah! I want to know, is everybody ready? Yeah! All right, here we go. Hey, now. Yeah! That was a good one. Bobby back from The Difference is doing it. Look, I'm over the turntable, as usual. I got this real fancy stamped Innova Eagle with the Greg Barnes, the 2018 World Champion Edition. Here's what we're going to do. Wipe that thing right off. <laughs> and then, for the first time here on the YouTube channel, we're going to try a little tutorial on lollipop spin dies. Which, yeah, we've done a bunch of these. A couple of these. A few of these over on our Facebook page with the live streams. Look, if you haven't made one of our live streams, they're a ton of fun. We have a couple drinks. Everybody does some disc dying. We hang out for a little while. So we're gonna do it over here now on the YouTube. We're gonna, I'm gonna try to show you everything I've learned so far. I'm not like a super pro with these, but I made some that look pretty cool. Look, I'll show you some right here. But you're probably more familiar with guys who do this really well, like disqualified. They're the best. There's no question about it. They're the best. Check them out. Get some of their discs, dude. That you know, grow the, grow it all. <laughs> Nonstop. So we're gonna try to tackle it today. I'm gonna try to teach you everything I've learned so far, and then hopefully by the end, you know, you'll feel like, yo, I can do that! And then you can make some really cool discs that when you go like this and you look over top of it, it will trip you out. It all spins in different directions. You'll fall right into the black hole. Let's do it. Yeah. Flip the screen. Okay, sorry about the pitter patter. There's a little rain here. We're lucky it's not snow. We've been tickling the line, but we're gonna get right into this little spin die action here. First thing, as usual, clean up the disc. I got my 100% acetone, I got a big bag of cotton balls. I keep my cotton balls in a big old sack. <laughs> little Ludi shout out there. I'm swinging this thing like a new jack. All right. Super cool, like the <clears throat> the burned impression left over from the stamp is so clean. It's gonna look hot underneath the spin die, I think, and still kind of you're still gonna be able to see the ghost of that cool stamp, and I think it's gonna look dope in the end. <laughs> Okay, so now that it's all cleaned off, we want to measure off the sections that we're going to do the spin dot, the, the, the lollipops on. Okay, so, you know, you can do this any way you want. There's all sorts of ways you can do You can do three bands, you can do four bands that are tighter, you can do a band and then a little negative space and then a band and then a little negative space and then a band, however you want to do it. <clears throat> okay, this time, we're going to do it with three. So, get your ruler or, you know what's even better? I can't find mine. It's fabric tape, because then it doesn't have to like, you just lay it right on the bend of the disc, you know what I'm saying? But this will work fine. I've done it with the ruler before. Yep. Okay, now what we want to do is, you can use whatever you want to mark it, but here's the thing. I'm going to go over it in black in the end anyway, so I'm not concerned about using a Sharpie, but I would suggest if you're going to use a Sharpie, get one of the fine, get one of the fine tip point ones to do it with. Now, how big do we want the bands to be? Alright, I'm gonna, right now I've been staring at it debating if I want to make them like relatively the same size or if I want to do like a fat one, a skinny one, fat one. But I think I'm gonna make them relatively the same size. So you only need to mark two spots, okay, and I'll show you why in a second, but um, I'm gonna do this bottom band here at one and a half inches. Okay, so I got right to right there. Bang. Just a tiny little dot. That's all you need. And then I'm gonna go from one and a half inches from there again, which takes me to right here. Bang. Okay, I'm pretty sure you can see that. So we're gonna have this is gonna be a section, and then this is gonna be a section, and then the center. Is going to be a section. Okay, so next, we got to center this disc up. Okay. 
Got it. Now, if your turntable has like multiple settings for speed, I recommend when you're doing these to dial it down as slow as possible. So I got mine on 35 RPMs and then mine also has this like dial on it that you can even fine tune it and it slows it down a little bit more. It just makes it easier for your timing because this is a timing game. Here's what we're going to do first. We're going to start with the black and we're going to mark the sections with a ring that we just marked with a dot. Be super careful you get it right one try at this. Nailed it! Okay, I'm not too worried about making that line perfect because the last thing we'll do on this disc is come back and touch up those lines. Right now it's just to make sure that we stay in the lines. Boom! Those are our three sections. And now, Timmy, who we're making this for, wanted this to be like a rainbow lollipop spin. So we're gonna hit like all of them. Right through, you know, right through the rainbow. Except indigo. Like seriously with indigo. The hell is it? Anyway, so maybe just to keep it right in my head, I'll stick with the Roy G. Biv thing. Look how slow that disc is spinning. It's crazy, man. Okay, let me take a minute to get some brushes ready. Here's the thing with the brushes that I would suggest. Use brushes that have, you know, of different size heads, tips. Okay, so that you have some thin lines, some medium lines, and some fat lines. It looks cool. Right, I've been thinking of a bunch of different ways to do this bunch of different ways. If I want to do the rainbow and try to do like some real serious timing and have it be like those sections consistent going around that I didn't describe that well. But like red then orange then yellow then green then blue then indigo then violet and those swirls are sort of packed together. Or if I just want to do like random colors all on top of each other. Kind of like it swirls in a lollipop, you know? It's more random. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try some serious timing here. So here's the, the short of it. On this, we're gonna start on the bottom section, and we're gonna start on the line we marked, and then drag the brush down. Okay, and you want to be con to be dragging it down each time with the same consistent timing. Not like timing like hitting the disc, but timing from the top to the bottom so that the swirls are of like the same size swoop for the most part. I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect, but what I do in my head as I'm doing it is I'm counting for, for this section, one, two, three, one, two, three, so that I know that like at each count, I should be about a third of the way through as I'm moving. And that helps control my timing instead of it just being like one, one, two, three. I, I hope I described that right. Maybe it'll make more sense as you see it. But it's a timing game. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna try to put another red down near or on that red. time that one quite as well. I got nervous trying to land it, but it's still pretty dope. Okay, I'm gonna move to orange. I think I'm gonna do a left, that's why I kind of left some space. I'm gonna try to do a little bit of overlap and then let the orange have its own space too. I'm not too worried about this little stuff here. I'm gonna clean that up at the end with the black. But what that means is I was bringing too much dye to the disc in my brush. I didn't tap it off far enough. Okay. Let's move 
onto some yellow. To the next circle. Here's the thing with this next ring, instead of starting at the mark and going down, we're going to start at this mark and go up and then stop right at this mark. So that's going to make the other one swirl the other way, which this is where it starts to get trippy watching from above. Okay, <laughs> you've been warned. That's enough green. Right. Oh gosh. Now I'm gonna bring in this other green. some pink in there too to give it another color now on this one we went down then we went up now we're gonna go back down but this one we want to go down right from the center point it, it's not easy okay but here's the thing it's way easier than starting at the bottom and going up to the center point so you know when you're planning out your bands which way you want to do the think that you want the center one to be going from the center down. Okay, it's just way easier. You could try it the other way, but you've been warned. If I use more purple, I'll come back to it. But now I'm thinking maybe I'll mix red in that one too. Since they all have three colors. a little sloppy right now this is what happens but we're gonna clean it all up I want to fill in just after that yellow we're gonna do a couple things to tie this all together all right first get your black back out then get a real fine tip brush we're just going to put some black pinstripes into each section, okay? Kind of helps give them a little bit of definition. <sighs> the timing, it can, it can trip you out. You're staring at this thing spinning in multiple different directions trying to count it out and land in the right spot it's tricky it's trippy and it's tricky both of those let's do a little more cleanup okay I got the fatter black back out I'm gonna just clean up some of these divider lines now, now I'm not just gonna try to make them bigger than the schmudges I'm gonna clean them up thinking I'm going to bring in some other colors into the divider lines. It looks cool when they do that. Okay, now we also got to add one to the outside here. Okay, getting cleaner by the minute, right? I'm gonna put another bar of like 
the predominant color in each band just inside the black one. Man, that red is pure fire. Now, you know, these these ones aren't perfect. You're gonna be able to see you're gonna be able to see some of the you know stuff underneath, but it does really help clean up that spot where you're starting and stopping where you can have like blotchy die marks. It's tough. We're not all pros like disqualified, you know? <laughs> but we do what we can to make awesome discs. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with blue in this section. red or do I want to do purple in the middle? Purple. Oh my god, I'm falling in. <laughs> Staring towards the center. It's, man. I think I'm done. Just looking at it right now, spinning, I'm thinking, I like it. Pretty cool. You know, they're never perfect. They're always awesome. <laughs> I told you all about being awesome about awesome last time. I can look at it and think of things that I wish I had done better. And things that I think came out super dope. But that kids is how to make your own lollipop spin. Mix up the colors. This one, it was supposed to be rainbows. So it was built in towards like a rainbow. I've done others where I've had like red, then blue, then red sections. Kind of cool. I hope you guys learned a bunch. If you do one of these lollipop spin dies and try it out, you know, hit us up. Send us some pictures of it. Over on the Facebook page or in the email and the thing or down below that no one ever reads. And, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna do this stuff. Let's do it! <sighs> Alright, till the next one, guys. Keep doing it. Get up, player! I said, get up, player! Get up, player! All sort of girls, player. Some soul. That's it, suck it right in the ear hole now. Oh. Heartbreaker! Oh, no.